Uh, my name is Galen Iverstein. Um, I was born and raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I'm with Iverstein Family Farms in Kentwood, Louisiana, and Iverstein Farms Butcher in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. The main reason I got into farming is because uh, I didn't know what to do with a political science degree. I think it's the, the main question that every liberal arts major deals with, and that's what do I do next, you know? I was 23 when I, I decided to go into farming. I was a, a student at LSU, went and interned on a farm and decided to farm. I've been farming for about nine years now. We started real small. I was on 65 acres, started with a couple of pigs, a couple hundred chickens, and went from there. So here on our farm, we raise 100% uh, grass-fed beef cattle. We raise pasture-raised Berkshire hogs, pastured poultry, which is chickens and turkeys, and also a little bit of lamb. Initially, I didn't really have a market. I raised it, I had a, I had a product to sell, so I started uh, knocking on doors of chefs around Baton Rouge, selling my product to them, and then I got into the Red Stick Farmer's Market in Baton Rouge. Our farming practices are a little different than others. We're using strategic animal impact on our farm to build healthy topsoils. So everything kind of works together. It's a symbiotic relationship between the cows, the chickens, and the pigs. You know, the cow goes in, eats the grass, and then the chickens come behind them. They're sanitizing the pasture, they're fertilizing the pasture, and giving us a really tasty product at the end of the day. We're also using our hogs as our forestry management tool. They're going in there and almost acting like a controlled burn in a forest, where they're keeping the low forage down and allowing the uh, big trees to flourish. Um, so at Iverstein Farms Butcher, we're a full animal butcher shop. Our goal is to use 100% of the animal. So the way we butcher our animals is dictated by its use. So uh, we, of course, cut to stock the cooler. We do a lot of custom cutting for people's uh, custom orders. They call us during the week and say, hey, I got a special party on Thursday night. I need X amount of pork chops. So we cut those. We also um, cut certain things to make our sausages and things like that. So our end goal is pounds in the shop, match the pounds out of the shop. We want to use the whole animal. If we have an on-site on smokehouse at the uh, butcher shop where we're making all of our own smoked sausages. We're making uh, jerky snack sticks. We're smoking chickens. We're smoking turkeys, all sorts of things. I think people keep coming back to our product, uh, one, because it tastes better. They, they can really re recognize the freshness and the, the flavor that's in our meats, and they also like supporting a, a community-raised product. I think what is so unique about Louisiana is that we're all coming together around food and fun. I, I've never met a creed, color, or kind in Louisiana that can't come together for those two reasons, food and fun. I think it's important to bring people together around food. It's always a central thing in, in our community. And uh, it's, a, it's a great opportunity to bring people together around something that's communal. Of all the things in the world I can do, the reason I farm is because I love producing a good product and bring it directly to a consumer. Seeing that consumer consume our product and, and get feedback from them and see them come back every week is just re really rewarding for me. My name is Galen Iverstein with Iverstein Farms out here in Kentwood, Louisiana. We're looking forward to coming out to the North Delta Ramble on August 3rd and bringing a true farm-to-table barbecue experience. Come out and see us and have a good time.